Looking back on my 1969 sixth grade class graduation, I realized it was one of the most interesting classes I ever had. This was the first class of the desegregated Berkeley Elementary School system. I had started the school year with some fear and now I was filled with joy. I was hired in 1966 for the historic integration. Planning started long before we had lots of training to prepare us. We had meetings to study the cultural differences between our students. And we did practice exchange teaching between the hills and the flats. Even with all that training, the first day of school was full of fears. The fears that the buses wouldn't run safely or on time. Fears about what our classes would be like. Berkeley had had a recall election to overturn the integration, so we knew that if anything went wrong, it would make the headlines. My special class was like Noah's Ark. There were more similarities than differences. I had a class of pairs. The black and white minister's sons spent weeks perfecting the play, the sword in the stone, heavily laced with Christian overtones. The two mad scientists discovered a collection of old science books in the basement, and they searched for ways to make something that would blow up. The pair of ADD boys, one came in in the morning and ran up the wall. The other one magically always had the kickball under his desk 10 minutes before recess. The pair of shy girls, the pair of smart girls, an amazing class. In the spring, we had a potluck parent supper organized by the best teacher's aide of my career, Laura Hill. From my class of 25 students, we had 125 people that showed up to eat the best food in Berkeley. That night was not so much about integration, but a celebration of community. <laughs>